Today we're going to talk about trade lines, specifically authorized users. Now there's many different trade lines. Let's define what a trade line is. Any positive account that is reported on your credit report with payment history. This could be an installment loan, and there's many different types of installment loans. Your student loan is a type of an installment loan. An installment loan is basically a, a, a loan issued to you by some financial institution to which has a term loan is completed. So an example would be an auto loan. If you've got an auto loan, there's 32 months, 36 months, and 42 months, which is you know four to five years of making payments on time, that's an installment loan. You're paying in installments. You're, uh, a real estate, a mortgage is an installment loan. Now, a credit card is not an installment loan. That's known as a revolving account. A revolving account is where you borrow money and pay it back. And you're only paying interest on the amount of money you borrow. Other installment loans like a payday loan or a personal loan, where you, where you go to a payday loan center or a cash advance center, those are also installment loans. What else could be an installment loan? A business loan as well. That's an installment loan, but that's more on the business side. All right, so how is this going to help you? Well, let's talk about your FICO score. Your FICO score is dominantly made up of your payment history, which is like 35% of your FICO score, depending upon which FICO algorithm you use, or even Vantage. You have your payment history, amount of payments you've made on time. That's really, really important. And then how long you've had those accounts, when they were opened and when and how long you've had them today. So a lot of people that have bad credit or tarnished credit, compromised credit profiles, they don't really have adequate payment history. Some of my clients have um, had accounts that were old and closed, recent accounts that were opened and then defaulted on. Well, they're lacking payment history. So. I want to give you a good way to get trade lines. So trade line supply co trade line supply is not the best way to get trade lines. Trade line supply is a company which be the second best. Well, the second best because the first best are authorized users, authorized users. Now, what are authorized users? Authorized users are basically already existing credit card accounts. They have to be credit card accounts because you can't really do them for any other loan. These are particular to revolving accounts. So basically what you do, you hit up your friends or family that will add you onto a credit card. Usually it's family because friends won't really do this. Yeah, now, what you do, you call up your friend in order for them to qualify to be a good candidate to let you on their credit card. The credit card has to meet this criteria. The credit card has to have below 35% usage, which is maximum. That means it will be the maximum usage on that account at any given time. It's best to have that account below 9%. 9% would be the best. You can ask your friends, your family. They would add you on the credit card as an authorized user to help boost your credit. Because if they're a family member, they shouldn't have a problem with doing this. But you have to make sure that card is below 9% usage because if it's above 9%, it's going to hurt your score. Below 35% is, is okay, but the closer you get below 9%, that's ideal. Let's look at it from a scale from one to 10. One being the best situation, 10 being the worst. 35 Above 35% will be the worst. The closer you get to 9% will be the closer you get to perfect. Try to aim for someone that has below 9% usage on a credit card. That's number one. Number two, which all of these factors are really important. You want to make sure that their credit length, that account is older than 10 years. So you can reap the benefits of the credit length history. Remember, there's two aspects of your FICO score, your payment history and your credit length history. Notice that if your credit length history, if it's eight years and the payment history is on time, you're going to have eight years of perfect payment history. Let's do some math here. Eight years. So there, how many months are in a year? 12 months, eight times 12. So that's already more than a hundred payments of perfect on time payments. That's factored against the amount of late payments you have. If you have late payments on your credit report, that alone is going to offset those late payments and make them less a factor, less a factor. It's not going to eliminate the factor until we remove those late payments, but this would counterbalance it. And then also it's going to help you with one thing. It would impact your credit to debt ratio. FICO will still calculate the points on those two metrics, the payment history 
in the credit length history, which would make authorized users the only reason why you would add them is to get the credit length history. That credit length history will be factored and it will help you. So you can do that. The number one best way to get an authorized user is to get it from your friends and family, not Tradeline Supply Co. Don't go to Tradeline Supply Co. until you went to your friends and family and asked them. Closed mouth doesn't get fed. If you guys really, really want to boost your credit score, you would do this. This is definitely a need to do. The second best option to give an authorized user would be Tradeline Supply Co. So let me give you a complete review over Tradeline Supply Co. Tradeline Supply Co, you can buy trade lines, you can sell trade lines. Tradeline Supply Co is basically a company which has a pool of authorized users. These authorized users belong to their organization and trade their credit card space. Typically a credit card can have up maybe like five or 10 spots for an authorized user. So they recycle these pools every single month. So you're probably gonna be added on these authorized users for one to two months, depending upon the level of service you get from Tradeline Supply Co, which makes it an excellent service if you're trying to repair your credit. Let me give you a scenario. Typically, customers, they would hire me to clean up the blemishes and correct the errors and mistakes on their credit report. But that doesn't add history to their credit report. In order to add history, you need to apply for credit, manage it, and cultivate it and grow it, which is another topic. But a real quick fix to basically boost your FICO score up fast in 30 days is to add what's called an authorized user. You can get them from Trainline Supply Co. They're one of the best, actually the best resource outside of the other resource, which is a non-official resource, meaning you'll have to go to your friends and family to ask them for a trade line or authorized user. They might think, well, it's co-signing on a credit card. No, authorized users are not co-signing on a credit card and it's not going to inhibit any of their existing credit card benefits. Because when you apply, when they call the credit card account, their credit card company ask them to add you as an authorized user they'll need your social and your ad and your your date of birth but they would request that the card gets mailed out to the credit owner meaning it would get mailed out to them not you so you're not going to use the card that credit card will be mailed to them and they could cut it up if they they should cut it up right or just not activate it that's gonna be reflected on your credit report. You're going to basically piggyback, it's called piggybacking. You're going to adopt their credit history. So when they add you on that card, you're gonna adopt that credit history and it's gonna boost up your FICO score because it impacts two categories, your payment history and your credit length history. It'd be much more difficult for an underwriter to understand your credit length history because there's even stuff that you've done years ago that's not really reported on a credit report that's factored into your FICO score, believe it or not. And those are archived reports that FICO has that we don't have access to, and it's not currently reflected on your credit report, but it will still exist on the back end. There's a lot of things about FICO we don't know, but this is one of the things that I've measured. And this is one of the reasons why you have people that have credit um, history that's older than seven to 10 years that's not reporting on their credit report, but FICO still gives them a higher credit score than some else amongst other factors that would be the best way to get authorized users now let's talk more about trade line supply go trade line supply go is a pool of authorized user trade lines which people buy and sell their trade lines on that pool meaning if I have a credit card the $20,000 credit limit and 10 years of history or 20 years of history I could actually make money off of it. I could sell it to Tradeline Supply Co. I can be a part of their pool. And then when a customer goes onto their website, clicks buy trade lines and buys my trade line and adds their personal information, the company will automatically add them to that line or you can, you add them to the system and then it gets reported to their credit report. And then I make my fee and I give Tradeline Supply Co. a commission. It's a great company because it works. Have I had any problems with Tradeline Supply? Co? No, the only problem I've recently had was um, with a refund. They didn't deliver. Well, they gave me a refund. So look up here. This is my client, Edward. He purchased some trade lines from them. One didn't work and he got a refund. So it's good to know that this company would give you a refund if it doesn't work out because that's basically what you're paying for. 
in a situation like this, a refund will be good. And it actually worked out for my client. Yeah, my client's bummed out, but hey, it's not the end of the world. Don't give them a one-star review. Don't give them anything. They did a good job because in business, things happen. And we can't sit here and be negative and give them a one-star review because we didn't get our way. Because in actuality, my client got two trade lines. Well, one trade line that reported and the other one is is pending to be reported because the reporting cycle hasn't hit yet. But assuming that that does report, just like all of my other clients that I've sent to TradeLine Supply Co, and I'm not a broker, they're not, they don't sponsor this video or anything. Maybe I should become a broker to make some money. I probably will. Um, but I'm currently not a broker right now. So I'm unbiased to tell you this. I just do this to help people out. I'm not a broker. You can ask my clients, Edward, do you, did, did I ever give you an affiliate link? I'm giving you the link right here. The link in the description is not an affiliate link. You can go there and you can purchase a trade line. But I warn you, do not get trade lines just yet because yeah, you might watch this video or watch other videos on trade line supply company and you might wanna get a trade line but you have to have the timing right. There's so many factors on your credit report. You have to have a plan. If you don't have a strategy and a direct reason why you wanna get an authorized user, they're gonna fall off in one to two months and then your score may go down, most likely go down. But then what, what do you do? It's kind of like a waste, you've wasted your money. So you have to build a authorized user credit building strategy. So let me run down another scenario for you, the most common scenario where customers have bad credit, they hire me to remove negative items, I remove the negative items off their credit, then we add the authorized users somewhere at the closer end of that credit repair process. What we don't do is that they hire me, then they get trade lines because they're in this credit building mood. No. Take care of your priorities first. First clean house before you add the furniture. First build the house before you add the furniture. That analogy would mean that the trade lines would be the furniture, in case you guys aren't following with me. Remove negative items first, then monitor your credit score and monitor your credit report and understand how you want to add those authorized user trade lines and how you want to create the first tier level of credit cards you want to apply for. This takes experience. This takes knowledge. A lot of people do this. They get their credit clean and they apply everywhere. They don't know what they're going to approve for. They fall for those pre-approval things that get sent in the mail. They fall for those things that get sent online. It's so convenient. Oh, Credit Karma says this. Okay, let me approve. And then you're screwed. Then you have that inquiry on your credit report. Shield yourself from inquiries. Chase has a 524 rule where if you apply more than five times for credit cards within 24 months, you won't get any other credit cards. Imagine that, that sucks. So you wanna protect yourself from that. And you want to basically have a good strategy. I would consult with a professional. Consult with me. I know how these credit card companies work. I have, I have had all the best credit cards. I have friends, I have clients that have seeing results so you want to talk to me personally you want to hire me personally to clean your credit and then build a strategy for you that way it takes out the guessing game you always want to make sure you have a mentor have a team had advisors the most successful people in the world have advisors if you don't have anyone advising you you're not really going to grow as a professional as an individual okay every great successful person every boxer every athlete had a mentor had a coach so you need a mentor as well if you think you're just gonna go on YouTube and learn all this stuff your own you're just boosting your ego you're like you're not really gonna get anywhere have a team okay if you really really want to build your credit you need a team it's like a family and it's good because when you have a coach he'll call you and he'll run scenarios with you and he'll tell you what to do and then you feel good you feel like all right we're getting somewhere great Andre is going to fix this for me that's exactly right now I can't give you any strategy right now because strategies are consumer specific they're specific to your credit goals and I don't really have a lot of time for this video I just wanted to give an honest review of Tradeline Supply Co and give you some case study here like I did with my client Edward and I have existing clients that have used Tradeline Supply Co over the years and never really had a problem if there's any situation where they can't report a trade line. They will refund you. And the good thing is you could use that refund to get another trade line because they have so many trade lines possible. Okay. Another thing is that depending upon your budget, 
and your credit building strategy would determine what credit card you should get as an authorized user and the limit amount and the age amount. There's a soft secret spot, okay? It's all really specific and detailed oriented. You can't just get random stuff. When I suggest people go to Tradeline Supply Co, I always recommend specific trade lines. If they don't get these specific trade lines, I can't really ensure their success. These are trade lines that I know for a fact work on Tradeline Supply Co. And Tradeline Supply Co. is not going to tell you this. It's not their job to tell you which one to get. They're just selling trade lines, turning and burning them. So um, you need a professional that's going to tell you, hey, get these three. Don't spend this much. It's not always about you spending a lot and getting a lot. No, it's not about that when, in terms of trade line. So be careful because you could be spending more than you than you need. So talk to me, um, hire me personally, and I'm going to tell you specifically. Okay, you you only need to spend three hundred fifty bucks. You don't need to spend fifteen hundred. But Andre, you said get it get a credit card that's eight years or 20, 10 years. That's not not well. You don't need to for your situation. I was talking about another person, okay? So you need to understand if you don't know 100% which trade lines to get, then you don't know. If you need to know what I know, okay? That's that's a fact. Like I said, guys, if you don't have a blueprint, if you don't understand where your credit is going, how long it's gonna take, I would consent with a professional that's going to help you. Trade Line Supply Co. is the best source of authorized, well, it's the second best resource. The first best resource is to go to your specific resource. Go on your phone, okay, and, and ask, hey, do you have a credit card? And if you don't know people that have good credit, and if you don't know if they have good credit or bad credit, then that means you don't know your friends. You should know the finances of your friends and family. So this is another personal thing. I know the finances of my friends and family. I know what they're capable of doing. I know their credit. And we have a close circle. I could resort to that circle to pull out resources to benefit my life. And I could pay them if they want, or you know, they would be happy to have my life excel. Another client. So many different clients do this. So you should first do that. You should first do this. This, this also helps you understand who your friends and who your friends are not. So sharing is caring. And if you're really trying to benefit your credit and not put your friend at risk because this is not this is risk free adding an authorized user done properly is not going to affect their credit it's not a cosign so this has this has all benefit for you and it would help them this would help they would feel good about helping you so this is really good do that first and if that doesn't work or if you don't really have any friends that sucks then we can work about contacting trade line supply company and getting some authorized users for your credit. So guys, um, this is my honest review about trade line supply company. I'm the owner of Pinnacle Credit Management, Pinnacle Credit Repair, and trade line supply company is the best source for authorized users. Well, the second best, the first best would be the, your own personal resources. But if you don't have your own resources, your own friends and family that will add you on as a authorized user, then Trade Line Supply Company is your best bet. So um, there's a link in the description. It's not an affiliate link. It's just for you guys to check it out, okay? Check out Trade Line Supply Company and you can read further about what it is, what they do. And then before you get trigger happy, send me an email, shoot me a contact, shoot me a message, shoot me a comment on this video, like, subscribe. And if you have any questions, just shoot a comment or email me on my website to link in the video description um, below and we can learn more about this great resource and create a blueprint for your success okay guys i'll see you on the next one